Hey, this is another episode of my favorite part of the month, Midnight Mechanics. Uh, July 1st is a breath of clean air. I am in world-famous Lake Okoboji, Iowa, my fun stopping grounds when I was a child, where first thing I noticed when I got up here, how clean the air really is compared to some of the big cities that I've been around and all the pollution that I just really can't stand. Like most people in the world, I'm sure, um, you can't stand pollution either. I'm going into the 4th of July weekend, and here at 12.01 Eastern Standard Time, I like to do my favorite part of the month and go from month to month, see how we're doing. This month, we just came out of some testing, which was very interesting on the results. I haven't officially read through the results, but I have got the um, understanding on how, and like I have said long, long ago, I do not, or our technology does not work well with others. Um, we were involved in a unique test where we had five uh, amazing products that are reducing emissions. And the test started by adding each product along the process to see how it did. Um, the first four products showed a remarkable uh, decrease. Uh, compared to what we've seen over the last you know, 50 years, it was a remarkable decrease. Um, then our product came in last and uh, was placed on, um, but we actually went down a few, our pollution went up uh, a little bit higher once our technology was added. And I believe that this came from, because it's the first time I've ever had a chance to even have a, a test like this uh, going against other things. I believe uh, wholeheartedly that the test would have been um, a measurable landslide had it been reversed and we went first showing our ridiculous drop in emissions then adding other products and watching it get worse so if we've already you know showed a product that makes all other products obsolete why would on earth would we join forces and work with other products when it would harm our environment so um like I said, we, we gained a lot of things out of this test that I'm, I don't feel, uh, I feel numb about it. I, I feel like I have learned a lot. Palladium Labs is uh, also proud here to, to announce a, a new logo, a new direction, and giving the scope of what our Palladium Labs brand is, our Palladium Labs technology. And it's uh, uh, the way we introduce and show the technology is overwhelming. Um, but once you've seen it, it's very difficult to ever forget it. So we believe here at Halidium Lab, Halidium Labs, that we are we are simply knowledge to wisdom. Two bold words separated and connected with a letter two and a squared. We are knowledge to squared wisdom. And this way our amazing technology will pass not in how smart you are or how educated you are that certainly has no bearing or effects if you've never even heard of something before so how could one's knowing or knowledge once it's passed become someone else's wisdom uh, very proud of the team here uh, we're getting a major um, getting major getting ready for a major event, Alidium Labs does Sturgis 2017. Um, quite proud of sitting here in front of the Safari 40-foot diesel pusher, which is uh, uh, with the assistance of great Doug James at QuantumLeapNRG.com. He has uh, assisted me uh, tremendously into moving this coach out here to the Midwest from the East Coast and uh, settling up when we get out into uh, setting it all up in, in Sturgis, South Dakota for a July 31st special midnight uh, mechanics live from Sturgis. And then uh, four days later in the month of August, a, a, a really special uh, return to Pirate Radio where I will be broadcasting live from Sturgis. And over the next month, I expect uh, Halidium Media to pick it up uh, even a few more events and uh, 
possible uh, uh, magazines, uh, articles that will be featured on us. The good thing about what we're going to do out there uh, in our vendor area is uh, as a 40 foot, uh, you know, diesel 5.9 turbo Cummings uh, engine, we have a live uh, demonstrate or live uh, demonstration going on at all times. And also a generator, which also has a secondary, uh, which is a uh, LP gas, um, alongside that we can show uh, emission reductions before and, uh, of course, after our technology, showing it uh, constantly staying at the zero mark. Um, we're then going to uh, uh, put uh, our display booths and tables at the vending section out there around uh, the coach as uh, our department, Lance, is, is getting, uh, getting ready for a wonderful uh, paint job and graphics blast to making this a, a beautiful mobile billboard. Once we uh, uh, get out there uh, in Sturgis, we, um, we have a nice uh, a market that uh, Harley-Davidson has a big problem for, and that's uh, the EPA's fines that they're looking at. So we want to show folks how easy it is to enjoy the Harley-Davidson's, and uh, we'll, we'll set those carbon allowances uh, help those monthly payments. So um, uh, I'm very pleased. Like I said, I'm, I feel kind of numb, actually. It's... Uh, it's uh, living the American dream. Uh, pushing forward this technology here at, in Sturgis this year is probably will be the biggest single event that I've ever been a part of. So I, I, I do want to um, I do want to show up uh, possibly being noticed. Um, and I think we will. We are going to uh, we are uh, our display is just going to be breathtaking. We're going to be obviously featured in a lot of videos and uh, other camera work because there's a lot of people that are going to be taking pictures, Facebooking their friends. Um, our ability to then um, get our tags and get our QR codes and get everything blasted out there, our, our cool business cards that magically take you to a website, calling numbers to actually um, um, follow up on the product is, is, is really cutting edge stuff that we'll be utilizing. So. Uh, look forward for a spectacular um, video sequence of our of our um, 15, uh, 14, 15 days out in uh, Sturgis, South Dakota. After which there are a few more rallies um, still tossing around, sitting on the fence if we will uh, continue and follow the into West uh, Wyoming and then into Four Corners for another major event. But uh, Sturgis is probably all I need to really uh, focus on after coming out of there. There'll be a lot of work and follow up for uh, everyone else. Um, cost to uh, come to Sturgis for any of the reps that would like to uh, contact me. I will uh, go over thoroughly what uh, what it needs to be done and, and costs. And, and certainly, if you got five gas analyzers, <laughs> snap on tools, Gary. Uh, take them. Take a few days off. Um, hey, until next time, from the uh, great state of Iowa, very proud uh, to be home. This is Thunder with HolidiumLabs.com.